Hey everyone, this is Sunday with Farmers Business Network, and I'm sitting down today with Louie and Amanda Nig from Nig Family Farms, and I'm really excited to get some important social media questions answered that people have just been really bothering me about. So uh, the first thing I want to ask you guys is uh, tell us a little bit about your operation. What do you guys grow? Where are you guys at? All that sort of stuff. We're tucked in the very northeast corner, uh, South Dakota, um, and we grow corn and soybeans are our main crops, uh, rotate once in a while, some wheat and alfalfa in our operation as well. Awesome. And uh, so how has the past year been for you guys out there? I know it's been a little bit dry where we're at in Sioux Falls. Um, Actually, we're lucky. Yeah, we were like the, the garden spot. <laughs> yeah. we're of probably like the whole Midwest because we've had just enough amount of rain where we're going to have some really, really good crops, I think. Yeah. Not lucky then. Well, yeah. we'll, we'll cut this out. Like people don't need to know. Yeah. yeah like tiny little, little like, bubble. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. That's so funny. Yeah, uh, at least even just a little bit down south, it's been really dry. So yeah, we'll, we'll keep your location a secret so that nobody comes and, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> rounds up. I don't know. Crops. Yeah. Yeah. Our barn is listed as a national historical landmark, so I don't know how <laughs> secretive we can get. Yeah, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we won't mention it here. We won't link it. You never heard this. Hey. Anyone listening, you did not hear Great it. Great, someone. Cut it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cut the camera. Exactly. Yeah. Um, awesome. So so I wanted to do an interview with you guys because uh, Louie actually posted a question on social media. Uh, you bought some chem from FBN and you posted all the totes and you asked everyone if they could guess the dollar amount. So are you ready to reveal the dollar amount of this chem? <laughs> I don't know the exact to the cent, but I can give it the, the most. So it'd be $78,500. Awesome. And how long is that going to last you? As I remember from the video, uh, a couple of years worth of chemicals. Awesome. <laughs> you got to save ahead. That's, that is wonderful. And also, okay. This was another part of the question I keep getting. How much did it weigh? Do you know? <laughs> uh, again, not the exact number, but about 44,000 pounds. Woof. All right. Well, if you got it right, let us know in the comments, yeah. <laughs> give it a like. Some, and, some were and close and some know. were really far off and <laughs> yes. I tried to help out, but they didn't, uh, they didn't come back with another guess. So yeah, yeah I was I way off. <laughs> You're way off. I know I wasn't going to venture to guess. I'm not I, I even sure. Time. I know. Yeah, exactly. I'd guess way too much. I'm not sure. So uh, there's no prize for winning that one, but very good to know. Everyone can sleep at night knowing <laughs> that it weighs 44,000 pounds almost. Hey, awesome. I'll throw a prize. Whoever guesses it, I'll throw them a farm fit shirt. Oh, that's actually good. Yeah. Tag us in the comments if you got close. Uh yeah. screenshot your guest yep that would be wonderful we got some freebies going out here so Yay. that's great <laughs> awesome uh, so kind of launching into that let's talk a little bit about farm fit mama which is your business amanda um, and you have shirts which is good to know so tell us a little bit about that and uh and how people can learn more well basically i um the whole ideal behind farm fit mama is um my mission statement so i might as well just go into that is i give farmers and farmized tools and systems um, to lose weight, build muscle, um, create a healthy lifestyle, um, all within their new, or being confident within their new bodies for the rest of their life. And so um, how it took off was I started posting online. Like seriously, um, I had a lot of people reaching out to me, telling me that, or asking me what I was doing as far as workouts. And I'm like, well, I'm, I'm doing my own. And they're like, well, what is it? I'm like, well, it's CrossFit weight training, kind of all over the place. And it took off. And then next thing I knew it, I decided to go get my personal trainer and nutrition certifications, um, applied for a mentorship and launched it in February. And awesome. seriously, I can't tell you how humbled and blessed that I am on this path. Like I absolutely thank God, the guy, the guy upstairs every day that I get this opportunity to be this impact. Um, for so many people. So that is so awesome. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And, and uh, I was going to do a plug at the end, but definitely follow you on Instagram. We'll link this below, but it's farm fit mama on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. So we want to encourage people to go and follow you there. And so uh, on the, on the level of fitness for farmers who may be watching, what is the chore around the farm that will give them the most muscles <laughs> if, if they wanted to get ripped on the farm? <laughs> Literally, it could be mm. anything. Like the farmyard is like a 
a CrossFit gym haven. Yeah. You can do anything on the farm. Um, I did, I posted a couple really fun seed bag workouts. Um, this morning <laughs> he was trying to convince me to clean out the grain bin. Um, mm -hmm. kind of snuck out of that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm sick. <laughs> I, 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 left, I left her the last two. She can do them by herself. Oh no. Well, great. You got two to clean out. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, <laughs> so funny. But yeah, literally anything tires. I mean, you could grab an old tire and just start flipping it. Um, you could do pull-ups on, I've heard of people doing pull-ups off of tractors. Um, and it was really funny as I'm not going to give his name, but I'm, everybody's going to guess this guy that likes to clean John Deere tractors, mm. um, is going to send mm. me this big five gallon bucket of soap to, and he's like, put a workout together with it. And I'm like, Oh, mm. I could, I could easily do that. So it's, <laughs> it, it, it could be anything on your farm. It, I mean, yeah. you just don't have to get complicated. I have a, a gal that went through my program, my full 12 week program using buckets of oats. Oh my right. gosh, that like, is so wild. She, she, and her, re, her progress was insane. Like how we adjusted the weight is we added water. And oh then every three God. days she would go and feed it to her chickens. That so, so you fun. Do yeah. anything. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. I always love sharing that. She's she's pregnant and she's doing fantastic, but that is um, amazing. Yeah, I love to hear that. So so farmers business network, I know we've got a lot of seed that we sell. How much does a bag of seed weigh and how should you lift it up if, if you want to go about lifting up some bags of seed? Well, well, well any bags of seed can vary. It can be from probably 47 pounds up to maybe 75 to 80 depending on size. So yeah, there's a bag that can fit anyone's level of fitness. Nice. Nice. And you can always maybe pour a little bit out if you're weaker, yeah. like me, perhaps, and need, sure. to, need yeah. to start out somewhere. Well, that's great. Um, that's so fun to hear. And I feel like uh, we have so many farmers that follow on us on Instagram, maybe it'll motivate someone to just go push a tire over and, you know, start out on the farm. So awesome. Well, that's great. Um, thank you so much for sitting down with us and definitely uh, go give Farm Fit Mama a follow. We'll make sure everything is linked and uh, I really appreciate it. And you know, we'll definitely want to have you guys on again soon. Oh, Sounds thanks. great. Well, thanks for asking. Yep. Thanks for having us. No worries. All right. Bye.